Now we're going to show the detailed patch process. With the system completely set up and already tested, you can go ahead and go through the steps for prepping the packer and the liner. You're going to start off by taking your green wrap and wrapping the packer. As you're doing this, you want to make sure that your overlaps are approximately half the length of the green wrap coming around. Now that your packer is completely wrapped and protected, you're going to take some electrical tape and tape the ends of the green wrap to make sure it doesn't slide. Make sure to do the same on the other end. You can now turn your lights on, mark where your lights are, and just make a little mark on both ends at where the lights end. Then you can turn your lights off. Next, you're going to measure the distance of the lights based on the marks you just made and cut your patch to this length. Now that you know what your patch length is going to be, you can mark it and cut your liner material. You're going to remove the yellow plastic, making sure you're out of any UV area, and discard the yellow plastic. Next, you're going to use your perforator tool and run this along the length of the liner. You will repeat this step on the other side of the liner material. Then you will need to wrap the very front of the packer to make sure it doesn't get full of resin. Next, lubricate the packer to make it easier to slide your liner material over it. Now you can pull your liner material over your packer, stopping where you made your mark. With your liner centered on your packer, you can remove the wrap at the end and wrap your liner tightly to your packer. Once the packer is wrapped tightly, you'll take some electrical tape and wrap tightly around the front end twice. Then, using scissors, you'll cut about half the width of the electrical tape and make a snip. Next, you'll take your perforator tool, making sure to stay on the liner material only, avoiding the exposed silicone where there is no liner. If UV exposure is expected, you will need to cover the liner with black plastic and secure it with painter's tape before pulling it into the pipe. You will now need to disconnect the airline and electrical cable. Now you're ready to pull into place. Tie off your pull rope to the front of the packer and begin pulling into the pipe. Be sure to lubricate as you pull in the line.
Once pulled into place, at the point of repair, you can reconnect your electrical and cable line going into the reel. Now you're reconnected, pulled into place, and ready to send air. You can turn your valve on your vacuum air switch to allow air through the system and slowly start introducing air to 10 PSI. Once at 10 PSI, you'll follow your process table. After following your process table, your liner is fully cured and you're ready to turn off the lights and turn on your vacuum. Turn your valve to create a vacuum. Make sure to disconnect the airline and cable before pulling the packer out of the pipe. Pull your packer out of the pipe and finally go in with a camera to inspect. 